Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create an A3 layout and make sure it plots or prints correctly. So firstly we're going to start a drawing. Type in units. Check that we're in millimetres because we'll draw all our drawings in millimetres. Hit OK. And now we'll jump over to the layout space. So to find out what kind of paper size we've got at the moment, we'll right click on layout one and head to page setup manager. And at the moment we've got an 8.5 by 11 inch landscape page. Obviously we want an A3 page and working in millimeters. So we'll click new to create a layout type and we'll call it A3, hit OK. So firstly, we'll change the printer or plotter. We'll pick drawing to PDF so we can print to PDF before we print out onto paper. Next, we'll wanna change the paper size. So scrolling right up, we'll wanna choose ISO full bleed A3. I'm choosing the 420 by 297 millimeters instead of the 297 by 420 to make sure it's landscape. We'll choose a plot style table as beings and choose the plot area to extents and center this plot. Changing the scale to one to one. And if we hit preview, this is how our page is going to print out at the moment. So hitting escape to go back and okay. We'll now set this layout type to current and hit close. So now you'll see that the viewport that actually has your drawing inside of it is very small. So we'll highlight that. You might wanna scroll in, click on one of the corners, just one left click of the mouse, drag that up to the top left corner and same with the bottom right and hit escape to go out. So now we'll just double check that this prints correctly. So typing in plot and enter. And now we'll see that the settings that we picked earlier are still here. So I've got drawing to PDF, ISO full bleed A3, plotting the extents, one-to-one -one scale and being style. So now if we preview this, we're getting a drawing that's A3 landscape and showing the full extents of our drawing inside. So if we wanna print this properly, hit escape again and click OK. Now head to the folder that we saved on our desktop that contains all of our templates. Create a new folder and call that Drawings. Jump into that folder and label our first drawing. I'm going to call this Beings Drawing 1 and save. So when you open this up in Adobe Acrobat Reader, you'll notice a student disclaimer around the edges of the page. We will simply make our drawing and viewports fit inside this text. Now you know how to create a successful layout for AutoCAD and plot to PDF. However, if we open up the Beings Detail Template or the Beings Site Plan Template, you'll notice that this is already completed for you. So we can double check this by right clicking on one of the layouts heading to Page Setup Manager and clicking on Modify. You'll notice that the settings are all the same. So Drawing to PDF, ISO Full Bleed A3, Extents, Center, One-to-One -one Scale and Beings. So if we preview this, it will all fit inside of the text. So all you have to do is simply follow the prompts as I laid out before to simply hit OK and save it as a PDF file.